Dart, which is a lookout on the Glide River Canyon. And I'm really excited to go to this lookout. The photos and what we look, saw online look amazing. So I'm very excited to get there. It's just a one and a half hour drive. Yay! <laughs> We've just stopped at this gas station to use the bathroom, but the drive has been Apart from the potholes, really, really beautiful. It's been amazing. Now the mountains are epic. Yeah. Like look behind you, it's insane sight. Like you see the clouds falling off the mountains. Yeah. Anyway, we've got to. Really thanks cool. To this, thanks to these potholes, we've been delayed quite a bit, so we've got to go. Got to get back on the road. Are you driving? Oh yeah. yeah. I just opened the door for you, so. Oh, merci. Oh God. I feel like we've just transported into like plonked us into the middle of Africa. This is amazing. So I don't know if we've actually entered the Blythe River Canyon, but I imagine this is the beginning of it because it looks quite big when you look at it on the Google Maps. And the picture that I saw of it, I knew it was pretty, but you know, this is when you're actually here, it's way it's huge wow this is amazing uh, we just made it to the park um, there is an entrance it is a national park it's uh, 30, 70 dollars 70 rand for uh, foreigners thankfully i got an id here i got a driver's license it's expired for the last four years though <laughs> she didn't look she just saw that it was a south african driver's license and was like all good <laughs> and it's a uh, half price for locals so and then locals. yeah <laughs> locals <laughs> on a map but it's actually like a proper lookout with toilets and Touristy souvenir shop. stores and there's heaps of people here there was even buses coming up here as well it's way more touristy but we could see the view when we were driving in and it's really nice you gotta come see it You've gone past the point. This definitely doesn't feel that safe, but uh, we're gonna, gonna try and get a good view. That's really pretty, huh? Holy watched our Morocco vlog you'd know that we don't we weren't able to take our drone into Morocco and because I haven't used the drone in so long my iPhone actually uninstalled the DJI app and I didn't realize so up here I don't have enough reception to re-download the app so unfortunately we're not able to fly our drone in this beautiful location which kind of sucks but uh, at least we got to come see it be grateful for that, hey Max? Yeah. It's another stunning drive as we leave the canyon and we are heading to Grasco. Grasco. A town I cannot pronounce. I think it's a relatively decent sized town, so we're gonna get lunch there. We've driven 15 minutes so far, so it's just another 20 minutes away, according to Google Maps. But it seems like a pretty good road, so I think that'll be pretty accurate. And we're gonna get lunch, stock up on some supplies, because tomorrow we're heading 
back into the Kruger National Park, but we're in the main area of the Kruger National Park tomorrow. So what that means is there's a tarred road that we can actually drive our car on. We don't have to get a game driver to take us through. So it's good in the sense that we can just drive through ourselves, take our time. But first stop, lunch. lunch. Couldn't resist. We just wanted two avocados. We had six. It was only five dollars for all of these avocados. Yeah, there's some solid ones. Okay, so it seems like it's pretty hard to do provision. I mean, to get food in here. So we did our provision. We still haven't had lunch. So we're gonna have to eat at the touristy restaurant because there's no other options. It's getting late, and we're hungry, and we're we get very hangry. But we did just buy so many groceries. We got two tubs of blueberries, tomatoes, four bananas, and two apples. And it cost us like $8. How crazy is that? In this tiny little town, we have just found vegan options. There's literally like four so restaurants exciting. in our town. Yeah, this is great and it's not busy. So we're gonna eat here. Okay, this will be short because she's hungry. We got our vegan burgers. They look so good. Look at this. Literally in the middle of nowhere. We found this amazing food. All right, that's it now. We're gonna eat. All right, we literally ate that burger in three and a half minutes. Now we have a half an hour drive to our next major town and then just another half an hour drive to our accommodation. And we need to find coffee somewhere. Yeah, we skipped on the coffee to get there quickly. So, but we regret that decision immediately. Chop, chop, let's go, let's go. We ended up having to stop for petrol, so we got a gas station coffee. It's what you would expect from a gas station coffee. Yeah. <laughs> but it's I mean, it's coffee nonetheless. We've got just 26 minutes, 27 kilometers. Surely we're not gonna drive 100 kilometers an hour the whole way there. Instead of we just drove past three cows sitting down at the middle of the road. I don't think so, no. Anyway, we've got roughly half an hour, maybe 45 minutes um, to get to our next accommodation. We've just arrived at our accommodation and it's like all these little container homes like this one like so sort of like a caravan park but a container home park they're really cool i'm already liking it here it's very tranquil the birds are singing we'll see what our uh, container home looks like Really nice. <laughs> okay, I've already locked us out of our room because I shut the door and didn't realize it automatically locks and you need your key card. But I got another key card from reception and this is a really cool place. It's super small. It's just a room and a bathroom, but we've got this amazing bush surrounding us. I feel really at home because this actually is a lot like a caravan park that you would stay at in Australia. Um, we have heaps of like holiday camps and things like that. And this looks so much like something like that. All right, well, I think this is us for the rest of the night. We're pretty much just going to hang out. We have a tiny bit of work to do and then wake up nice and early tomorrow so we can go into the national park. Yeah. yeah. I remember, this is a living Barry. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye. I'm so hot, mm. did you fill up the water bottle? Mm, I bet it. you didn't. The camera's gonna fall. Max, the camera's gonna fall. Don't wait for it to Don't fall. Don't wait for it I to fall. Bella. All right. Just let it on the edge.